Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to do a quick video on cleaning your uh, Palmetto PX9 bolt channel. What I'm talking about is the channel that the firing pin goes into. So I was shooting this gun earlier and I started getting some uh, light primer strikes. Uh, so usually what that means is with the PX9, specifically that means that the uh, firing pin might be broken, in which case it was not. Um, it could also be that the firing pin spring was broken, right? Because this takes a, there's a spring that goes around the firing pin. Uh, and that was not the case. Uh, and I did once have a situation, I mean, I've experienced both, where the firing pin was broken and where the spring itself was broken. And what the spring did the time that it broke is a, a piece of it uh, ended up in the bolt channel, which made the bolt stick, basically get stuck forward. Uh, and it was causing the gun to slam fire because now the, the firing pin was protruding. So every time the bolt went forward, it would fire the gun. So basically it turned this into a full auto. Um, so that was the result of a piece of the firing pin spring getting stuck in the channel. And uh, I was able to get that out just by taking was taking a, you know, basically I just put, took um, uh, a pick and I just pushed because it was stuck forward. So I just had to push it back. Uh, and that fixed that problem. I was able to clean it out. Um, today I had a situation where uh, I was getting some light strikes. Um, and basically, they were, I hadn't realized how dirty this had gotten. Um, and uh, what happens when I went to remove the firing pin, I had to, because it wouldn't come out, I had to use the needle nose pliers to kind of grab this and yank this out of the back because it was it was stuck in there so uh, it, was, it was really dirty and I don't think I even did a, a crazy amount of shooting it's just probably I just got a batch of like really dirty ammo uh, also the humidity can make make a difference because when you're shooting the guns in wet weather uh, that residue sometimes um, uh, muddy gets muddy okay it gets a little bit thicker so the residue can cause uh, you know what would normally be you know okay fine you're shooting sometimes I think I'll shoot like 2,000 rounds with this you know between cleanings um, but if it, but if you're shooting in wet, damp weather, that can become an issue. All of a sudden, that residue will stop building up at a faster pace. So anyway, I want to talk to you guys about cleaning the channel, uh, which is a little bit diff difficult because unlike uh, uh, an AR bolt, you know you, you can't go, you know this is this has a, a weight in the back here, and I don't want to you you have to remove this roll pin to get the weight out so that you can really go through, which is a, a, a real pain in the ass. I don't want to have to do that every time I clean this. Um, so what I use is I use some carb choke cleaner. Okay, uh, you can use brake cleaner. Uh, you just just like three dollars. I mean, they, you can use the gun scrubber. They, those cost like eight nine dollars. These I usually get for like three dollars. Uh, make sure you've got some glasses on because sometimes this thing will just like throw it back in your face, uh, and it's happened to me. And just get this in there and just blast it. Okay. So now here's the thing. Um, one of the things that I also do. Um, is I, I was able to find this brush on that. Actually, I, I bought a whole pack of these, like 20 of them, on Amazon. These these tiny little brushes, I don't even know the name, but if you look up like small, like two cleaning brushes or something like that on Amazon, you'll find them. And I'm able to get these in. So here's the thing, when you try to push it in, it, it, it seems like it won't go in all the way, like it'll stop. But what you gotta do is you gotta twist it, and then it'll go in. And it'll go all the way in, and then you'll twist it, and then you'll be able to clean out the uh you'll be able to clean out yeah i can see it through the firing pin it's kind of all the way to the front clean up the the channel all right so even though i just blasted it see how dirty this came out so yeah with these palmetto px signs this is something that you want to do uh because if you don't keep that channel clean um you're gonna get you're gonna get slam fires like when you don't expect them you know you're going to get full auto fire when you don't expect it. I mean, it's, it's really cool if it happens because you want it to happen, like if you're bump firing or something. Uh, but it is, like, not so cool if, if, done, if the gun does it on its own whenever it wants to do it. Because that can be potentially dangerous. Okay, so here you go. Now it's coming out a little bit cleaner. Uh, so that's the main thing I wanted to discuss in this video. How to clean that, that uh, this the, the, the channel of the... Um, of the of a nine millimeter bolt now this is the one that came with the gun this one's the it says uh i'll go back clean this one this is dirty okay, 
this is the one that says G49. This is the one that came, yeah, G4-9. G4 <clears throat> this is the one that came with the Palmetto PX9. I also bought a couple of ones from uh, Core Valley uh, as backups uh, because sometimes you can get to, uh, uh, I, I very typically break extractors on this. Uh, you know, here's the thing, with 9mm, we, we typically do a lot more shooting. You're going to do a lot more shooting with your 9mm uh, PX9, most likely, than you're going to do with your AR-15. Because one thing, the ammo is a little bit cheaper. Um, and these guns, basically, they're set up just like AR-15, so you get the benefit of your AR-15 training, um, you, know, it, you know, in a cheaper form. The recoil is about the same. Uh, in fact, depending on how you set up the recoil on the on the blow on the nine millimeter blowback, can be more than the uh, five five six. You know that all depends on how how you, how the gas is set up in your AR fifteen. On this one, I have an eight ounce buffer weight in there, so that dampens this a little bit. So for me, on this rifle, it's actually a little bit less than um, than an AR fifteen, but it can be more depending on how how it's set up. So it's pretty close. It's it's, it's close enough that. Um, you can, uh, you know, it, it can go either way where either the 9mm blowback can have more recoil or the AR-15 can have more recoil. Now, especially if you set up an AR, you know, if you have like a mid-length system with like a, a, a muzzle brake on it, you know, this is going to recoil more than that. Okay, so, um, so I cleaned my bolt, cleaned my firing pin. I already cleaned this. I'm just going through this real quick again. Got my pin here. This is my I'm rather my spring here. Pretty clean. So now put this back. Put this back together like this. Put this into my actually I'm just put a little dab of oil right at the entrance. Not a lot, just a little just a little dab of oil. Rip, rip out. There you go. Put my cotter pin in there. Careful not to drop your cotter pin, especially if you're on gravel like I am right now. All right, and then real quickly, I will clean this. Drop my hammer. The Lord doesn't get that dirty. Um, it'll, it'll, I mean, it'll get dirty around the hammer. It'll usually get dirty around the ejector over here. Sometimes it'll get dirty. Down the magazine well, so I'll run my brush in there. Make sure my bolt catch, even though the, the, the bolt catch, it, there's no last round hold open on this, but it's convenient for loading the gun. And also let me uh, run the brush in there. Oh, that looks pretty clean. If I just blast this out one more time. Okay, so that's easy. That's the easy part. Uh, cleaning the upper. In the charging handle and I recently broke a charging handle uh, on the PX9 and the way it broke is the roll pin basically fell out of it just the vibration the, 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 you know it's so violent on these nine millimeter blowbacks that uh, it's very common for the charging handles to break I've actually broken the charging handle here because again you shoot it a lot you do a lot of work with it you know um, I've, so I've broken the charging handle here and I've actually had a crack like right in the middle so the way this works is, uh, like on a lot of the guns that I shoot, I get the extended. A lot of my ARs, I get the the ambidextrous charging handles. So uh, what I do is I, I take the charging handles that comes with those guns, and I use them as backups for the for the nine millimeter ARs when they break the PX nines. So that's what I do with those. Um, okay, let's clean this sucker out. The barrel, 
And this thing, yeah, you want to keep this clean, especially in this area right over here. This is an area where this gets dirty, and if it really builds up there, it can be really hard to clean. So try to keep this area right over here, near the, right behind, around the chamber, or behind the chamber. That's an area I focus on. Two. Run it right where the charging handle runs. Run it into that channel. Yeah, I, I'm really not a clean freak, so I really do like the least amount of work I need to do with this, with the cleaning. So usually I, I clean these guns like when I when I start experiencing some type of a problem. Usually like extra resistance when I run the charging handle or I start getting jams. Um, you know, I, obviously my life doesn't depend on these guns, so I don't, I don't clean them down. You know, I, I clean them when they need to be cleaned, basically. And they work pretty good. I mean, you know, these, these Palmetto PX9s have proven to be a great value for me. Great training gun. Um, I mean, this one over here, probably, uh, this is one of the later ones I got. It's probably past 5,000 rounds already. It's one of the later versions. I got other ones that, like multiple ones that have like 10,000 rounds on them. Uh, get a little bit more oil in there. The bolt's gonna run. Got my bolt in. I got my firing pin in. That's one of the, a couple, you know, one of the things I do, uh, I often forget is to put the firing pin back in there. Yeah, put a little bit of oil here. We're good. Get it back together. Yep, feel smooth. That's a, I hope that video was useful. Main thing I wanted to show you guys in this video is getting this brush here from Amazon to clean out your bolt channel. And you gotta twist this in to get it to get it to I'm sorry, the firing pin channel to clean out your firing pin channel. You gotta twist this in to get it in. Um, and it took me a while to realize that you had to twist it in because uh, I went many years w just spraying it out. Not, you know, I had it, but I just, you know, and then one day I, I just tried to twist it in and I saw it went in and that's how I realized that I can do it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, drop some comments below if the video was useful to you guys. Uh, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. And also, best way to clean your hands is with WD-40. That's And that's all that WD-40 is really good for cleaning your hands don't put it on your guns or anything like that because it, it does have water in there use gun oil something gun oil to oil up your guns and start against them